Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share my top 10, my most used handbags of 2022. Now to be completely honest with you, I don't think that anybody is going to be surprised by the bags that I'm going to be sharing with you today, especially if you have been following me on Instagram or if you have been watching my channel throughout this entire year, because many of these bags I have talked about so much. I have talked your guys' ear off about that. Um, yeah, like I said before, I don't think that any of you are going to be surprised. So these are going to be in no particular order. I wanted to give a little a little information about each one and um, yeah, let's just get this show on the road, shall we? Starting with the first one and that is the Prada Crystal Bag. I think that this is probably the second year in a row that this makes one of my most used handbags uh, of the year. And this is an awesome bag. Now, again, I'll be honest with you. You guys know that anything shiny, anything sparkly, I'm absolutely drawn to. I am a magpie through and through. But besides the crystals, uh, as, as amazing as they are, it is also a fantastic handbag. It's very lightweight. Um, it is made of that silk satin. And it's very lightweight. It's very comfortable. It's very easy to, for me to put over my shoulder. I do like to hand carry it because when I hand carry it, I feel like you can see more of the crystals. Uh, but it's also very spacious. For it being a smaller bag, it fits quite a bit in here. I do have a Smorga organizer in here. And the main reason why I have that in there is to really help it to maintain its shape, just because the crystals tend to get pretty heavy. And um, then you start to see kind of the gnarly wrinkling and, what's, and whatnot. So that's why I have the organizer in there. But it is pretty spacious. I can fit all of my daily stuff in here, no problem, and then some. And uh, it's it's just absolutely a joy to use. And between, because I do have this in white as well, and I use the white quite a bit this year uh, too, but this one definitely, <laughs> definitely took the cake. Uh, now I do have some wear on this bag. Uh, I do have some pilling throughout that silk satin, but as far as the crystals themselves, I haven't had any of them chip. I haven't had any of them fall off. And trust me when I tell you, I have put this bag through like to the test, 100%, because I use it so incredibly much. And um, I don't think that this is a bag that you only have to wear on special occasions. No, I will wear it on date night uh, or on date day, whatever it is. I will wear it to the grocery store. I will wear it. You guys know how I feel about the grocery store and my handbags, but I will wear it to the grocery store, to the post office, wherever. I think that this is a fantastic way to just kind of give your outfit a little bit more oomph, you know, um, and it's amazing. So I don't think you have to dress to the nines. And I think that this pairs fabulously with a casual outfit. Absolutely. So um, it's held up amazingly well for as much as I have used it. And the crystal, the crystal just absolutely makes my heart sing. So the Prada crystal bag. Oh man. And I know that they, they recently came out with the, the platinum one or the gold one. Oh, it's taking everything in me to just be like, Minnie, step away from the bag, <laughs> step away from the bag. But those crystal bags are absolutely fantastic. Um, all right. Next up, you guys have seen quite a bit over these last few weeks uh, or these last couple of videos. This is the Lueve puzzle bag in the size mini. And like always, why is it that I always forget the name of this bag? I will, or the, the color of this bag. I will, I feel like I remember the names of the colors on every bag that I have, but this one, for some reason, I draw a blank. Anywho, I think that this is, let's just call it Dusty Rose, all right? I don't know. It's mauve. To me, it looks like hot chocolate. I know you guys have heard me say that many of times, but anywho, uh, you guys know how I feel about Lueve puzzle bags in general. I think that they're amazing, whether you go for it in the medium, the small, the mini, any size, I think that they are absolutely fabulous handbags. And, um, I do use my small red one a lot, but this one right here, I think gave that red one a run for its money. Not saying that I don't love my red one because I do, but I don't know what it was about this one and this year that I just was like a moth to a flame whenever uh, whenever I saw this bag. I mean, it's amazing for spring and summer when I want to carry something a little bit lighter. It's awesome for fall and winter as well, just because the color, I think, um, I think goes uh, very nicely with everything. The gold hardware that it has makes for an awesome combination. Uh, but it's, it's, 
it, it's like it's a smaller bag but it doesn't feel like a small bag it doesn't feel like a mini bag it doesn't feel like a nano bag if that makes any sense whatsoever it is so comfortable it is so easy to see everything at a glance this little flap here as you guys have heard me say before it's not cumbersome it doesn't get in the way and i can really maximize my space in here but this leather this leather is out of this world i think that Lueve, in my opinion, takes the cake when it comes to pebbled leather for luxury brands. It is supple. It is durable. I have literally zero scratches, zero wear and tear on this bag. It has been wearing amazingly well. It really made me appreciate Lueve even more. So the Lueve mini puzzle bag, in the dusty rose, dusty pink, dirty pink, mauve, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, all right, moving on to another sparkly bag, and that is the Cara Mesh Armpit Bag. Yes, that is the name. You heard it correctly. Uh, there are two versions of this bag. This is the largest of the two. The other one is a little bit shorter, and it's not as uh, it's not as long either. But this Cara bag is probably one of my favorite handbags in my collection, like no joke. Uh, I got it, I think it was September, October of 2021. I used it to death this year, to death. I get so many compliments on this bag whenever I use it. It's comfortable, and if you are in the market for a sparkly bag and you don't wanna drop $2,500 on a Prada bag, you can go for this bag. You still get this insane amount of sparkle, and I believe that they retail for I want to say that this one is $425 if I'm not mistaken. You can always find them on sale as well. Uh, but $425 and for the prism, the crystals that you are getting, it is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I haven't had any crystals fall off. This one is a little bit, it has that mesh. So it feels a little bit heavier than the Prada, uh, but it is so insanely comfortable. I like the size that it has. I like the strap drop that it has uh, because it is very, very comfortable. It doesn't, you know, dig into my skin. It doesn't hit my armpit either, but I love using this kind of like just a grab and go bag as well. And just like the Prada bag, I love using it for every aspect of my life, whatever that is, if I'm running errands or if I'm just going to the grocery store. And quick side note, I know you guys hear me say the grocery store a lot, but whenever I go, whenever I go to the grocery store, you know how they have those awesome lights at the produce section? I don't know what it is because like the rest of the lighting at the grocery store is like the fluorescent, hideous lighting. But the produce section, it always seems like it's a lot brighter. They have these cool looking like boutique lights. I don't know. But sometimes when I wear my sparkly bags, <laughs> I go into the produce section besides whatever I need to pick up. Uh, and I sit there and I'm like, ah, oh, and I, I just stare at the bag under the lights. Do you have any idea how many people have seen me and they're like, what the hell is this chick doing? I don't even care, all right? That's how <laughs> that's how happy these bags make me. And when I see that type of prism, when I see that type of crystal sparkle uh, in those produce lights or, you know, whenever I'm out and about in the sun, it just makes me insanely happy. What can I say? But uh, this one, I also have some org organizer in here. This is actually an organizer for my reissue, my Chanel reissue, but I found that this one is perfect for this bag. It fits everything that I need. Look at how spacious that is. It is absolutely amazing and these are this mesh here it hasn't it hasn't pulled on any of my clothing or anything like that but it has felt it has held up insanely well so again if you are looking for a crest a crystal bag a trendy bag whatever you want to call it and you don't want to break the bank definitely check out Cara they have uh, they have a few different colors as well but that that silver one I think is absolutely amazing all right, moving on to a bag that I think has made my most used handbag, has made my most used list every single year that I have had it, and that is the Chanel Medium Large and the Black Caviar Leather with the Silver Hardware. This is one of another one of my favorite handbags. It is a forever bag for me. It has a ton of sentimental value, but I honestly love the size of the Medium Large. It is very comfortable. It fits everything that I need. I like the fact that you can either use it doubled up that's actually my preference or you can use it on a single strap and it's still not too long either which i really like because i know that depending on the size of the classic flap that you go for sometimes if you want to use it on a single strap 
I think that some of them are a little too long, but this one is perfect. Very, very comfortable and zero, zero issues with uh, wear and tear. And I mean, look at how it doesn't have, it's not like this huge bag, right? It's definitely a medium sized bag, but it's such a great size. And I feel like sometimes it really helps me to limit how much I carry because you guys know I like to carry everything in the kitchen sink. All right, I like to fit a little bit more and a little bit more, but with this one, I really don't want to jam pack it. I want to just, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm a little bit more conservative with what I carry. And um, I think it's amazing, absolutely amazing. But again, there is the size and it is, it is definitely my favorite size when it comes to the classic flap, J just because it's not heavy, it's very comfortable and it's, it's obviously a classic, right? It's a classic handbag and um, this one will be with me until the bitter end. Moving on to another Black Beauty and that is the Louis Vuitton Extra Small Keepall in the Reverse Monogram Eclipse. I absolutely love this bag. I did get it earlier this year and I have been, I just have been gravitating towards it over and over and over again. You guys know that I am a sucker for Monogram Eclipse, but then you, then you add in the Reverse Monogram Eclipse and I am I'm absolutely here for it. I like the fact that you have the regular monogram eclipse here and then on the sides you have the reverse monogram eclipse. I really do like this upside down uh, LV logo. I know some of you guys are like, ew, I hate that. I hate that part. But I like it. I like it because it makes it, I don't know, it makes it a little bit different. Uh, but it is just an awesome, awesome bag. Now, one thing I do have to note when it comes to this handbag is that it does come with a removable adjustable strap that is in the reverse monogram. I cannot stand this strap. Uh, number one, I do think that it's a little too stiff. I think it's uncomfortable. It digs into my skin whenever I go to use this handbag, but it also opens up. And I think it's because of this little guy here. It's not very secure and it constantly does this and it's kind of flailing in the wind. And I, I really don't like the way that that looks. Uh, so I don't really use this strap too often. Uh, actually, I end up going for this strap instead. This is from Organize My Bags. I believe that this is their oval strap. They have different sizes uh, and they also have different colors, but this strap, I love pairing it with this handbag. It's not necessarily the same gunmetal uh, because this is the shiny gunmetal, but I think it matches quite nicely. I love using it with this one though. And uh, it is pretty spacious. It just has one open compartment. It doesn't have any slit pockets or anything like that. And I think that because of that, it really helps to maximize your space. Uh, but um, there we go. I, I just, I love this bag. I love this little bag. And I am also happy to say that, do you remember, do you guys remember when I first unboxed this bag? and I was talking about how the handles were a little bit wonky. The handles are still pretty wonky, but they have definitely relaxed the more and more that I have used it. So I'm happy to, uh, to report on that front. But um, I love the fact that it's so carefree if it's raining because it rains so often here in Southern California, right? Although last week was pretty gnarly or two weeks ago was pretty gnarly. Um, but you can use it in any type of weather. And I love the shiny gunmetal hardware. It just really adds something to it. Not to mention this ginormous zipper. I am a big fan of like thick, chunky zippers. I don't know why. This reminds me of the Givenchy one, right? But anywho, the Louis Vuitton Extra Small Keepall in the Reverse Monogram Eclipse has been one that I could not keep my hands off all year long. Uh, all right, moving on to yet another Black Beauty. No surprise there. Uh, that is the Chanel Trendy CC in the size small in the black lambskin with the champagne gold hardware. Uh, this has been such an amazing bag all year long. Um, I love using it in every single aspect of my life, whether I am running errands, whether I want something a little bit more dressed up. Even though I do think that it looks a little dressed up, I also feel that it's very, very easy to dress down because I, I very rarely dress up anyways. Uh, but I love using this with a t-shirt and jeans or what have you. And I just, I love the way that this bag looks. Uh, I do have some scratches on the interior of the lambskin because I haven't, I haven't been careful. I have one that I got, I think it was the very first day that hasn't really gone away. Do you guys see it? Right, right around here, maybe not. 
uh, but I do have some uh, some scratches in there. Not too, too bad. The majority of them have buffed out just with my fingertip, uh, but I love the compartments of this bag. It's very comfortable. It is a little bit on the heavier side, uh, but I'll be honest with you, I do prefer to hand carry this bag versus using it on my shoulder. Um, I don't know what it is. I just really like the way that it looks like so with just the strap just kind of hanging off to the side. Uh, but I do like the fact that if I wanted to use it on my shoulder, I have that option and this strap is very comfortable because it does have this little leather uh, part here woven in the chain. So it makes it again that much more comfortable to use for extended periods of time. But it's very, very spacious, very comfortable. I do have some Samorga organizers in there. And the main reason why I went for organizers in this bag is because of the lambskin. I know that um, I had seen some reviews on that people, people that had this bag and they said that the lambskin starts to get really wonky the more and more that you use it. And I really like using organizers to help the handbags keep their shape, not necessarily to organize my, you know, my items in them, but I do find that, um, it is held up very nicely. I don't have any wrinkling on the sides or anything like that. And there are times when I overstuff this bag, no surprise there. Uh, but I love the different compartments that it has. It's like a, it's like the Louis Vuitton uh, Pochette Matisse's, I don't know, more dressed up sister, if you will, uh, because that's what this bag reminds me of. I very rarely, I shouldn't say very rarely, but I don't really like to use this back pocket too, too often. Uh, if I do, I'll end up uh, using items uh, back there that I don't really reach for whenever I am using this handbag. Uh, but these two main compartments, this one I use uh, for my main, you know, like my wallet, my phone, my keys and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just organize it according to <laughs> how I need the items, uh, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But uh, very, very comfortable, and I just love the way that this bag looks. I'm also happy to say that I haven't had any issues with scratches on the bottom here. It's actually been the scratches on the inside just from my nails or from my jewelry. But as far as the exterior of the bag, I think it is held up uh, very, very nicely. I do have some, some indentations back there just from the chain but it is held up very, very nicely. I absolutely, absolutely love the Trendy CC. All right, moving on to another Louis Vuitton bag, and that is the Nano Speedy. I feel, and I talked about this in another video, I feel like this year I really either went for one extreme or the other. I either went for the bigger bags or I went for the smaller handbags. Uh, but this one is incredible all year long. I mean, whether you decide to use it for travel, whether you decide to use it to run errands or what have you, this is an awesome bag. And I really think that the main reason why this became one of my most used handbags this year is because I cut off that strap. It is the best decision I could have ever made. And I know that after, I think it was probably like, what, two or three weeks after I cut off the strap, uh, that the Speedy 20 came out and I had so many of you say, Minnie, do you regret it? I don't regret it at all. I really do like this size. It is like the Mary Poppins of, of my handbags because it is insane how much you can fit in here. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, then again, it is a Speedy and Speedies are known for being like this black hole where you can fit the entire universe in there. And uh, I feel like even though this is a smaller, <laughs> a smaller, uh, uh, speedy, you can still fit an insane amount of items in this bag. Some of my favorite straps that I use with this bag. I use this Organize My uh, Bag strap as well. This is the oval strap. This is the same size as the one for the Louis Vuitton Extra Small Keep All, but this is in the gold hardware. And this matches the gold hardware uh, pretty closely. Although on the Nano Speedy, the hardware is um, more of that matte hardware, so it's not as shiny, but I still think it makes for a very, very nice pairing. So I love using it with this strap. And I also like using it with this strap. This strap is from Samorga. Uh, this is a little bit more yellow, but I like the fact that it's a little bit shorter and I can use it as a shorter shoulder bag. But I love the details of this chain. And I will put the name of this chain. I can't remember the name of it right now, uh, but I will add it on here just to give you guys a really quick look. Um, I don't know. I just like mixing and matching the straps with this Nano Speedy. I feel like it gives it so much more versatility. So it's kind of something like this. 
you know? So if you wanna go for a skinnier chain strap or a thicker one, I am all for it. So once again, the, the Mary Poppins of handbags, in my opinion, is the Nano Speedy. Moving on to a large tote, and that is the Gucci Ophidia Denim Tote. Someone said that this is no longer available. I do believe that the denim is a seasonal, um, a seasonal material, I could be wrong. Uh, but this is an incredible, an incredible bag. I used it so much this year, and I really think it's because it's very lightweight, it's very comfortable, it is insanely spacious, and I love the color combo that it has. You have that beautiful gold hardware, then you have this really nice chocolate brown, and then you pair it with denim. I just think that it makes for an awesome combination. But the magnet on this is something that I always play with. I love how secure it is. Uh, it's never opened up on its own. My stuff has never flat, like flown out, flying out of here, flown out of here. Uh, and I also have a Samorga organizer in here. Uh, now with this organizer, I don't know if Samorga has this one on their website right now because they actually had uh, an organizer for this back on their site. It was a little too short. So I asked them if uh, it would be possible to custom make one so that the organizer goes all the way up to the top and they were so incredibly nice and uh, they went ahead and did that for me and I really like the size of this organizer again because it, it hits all the way up here. It does end up hiding the little slip pocket that this bag comes with as well as the zipper but I don't really use those, um, I really don't use a slip pocket or that zipper and I really like the fact that this organizer really helps the bag to maintain its shape because if it doesn't have an organizer, it turns into a beautiful mess, like 100%. Uh, but it is such a, such a great, great tote and it's very comfortable. The straps don't fall off of my shoulder and you guys know that I do tend to struggle with uh, tote bags that have these really skinny straps that are very uncomfortable and that they end up rolling off of my shoulder. But again, that isn't the case with this one. It is just absolutely amazing and I have had no issues with wear and tear on the corners. Uh, the, uh, the denim itself, I do have some pilling throughout, uh, but I also think that it's held up very nicely. It doesn't look like it's dingy either. I think just because it is a little bit darker, but um, it is held up very, very nicely. So I, I absolutely love this tote. And I also like the fact that for a tote, even though this is denim and it doesn't have as much leather, uh, it also doesn't break the bank. You get really, really great quality and it doesn't break the bank. So I think that's amazing. Now for another toe, and I don't think that this is gonna surprise anybody because I talk about them all the time. I talked about them last year, this year, I know, all right? I know. Many, I'm so sick and tired of you talking about this bag. But what can I say, all right? I absolutely love it. And yes, I am talking about the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. This is in the size mini, and this is in the pink. Uh, I love this bag. I'm definitely not doing it justice on the camera because uh, it's making it look kind of funky. It looks like it's a little bit of a dull pink. I promise you it is not. It's not Pepto-Bismol pink and I always mention it whenever I talk about this bag, but it is this bright, bright, beautiful pink and um, it's gorgeous. The name is actually called Morning Glory, but these little bags are amazing. So insanely spacious. It doesn't break the bank, has such amazing quality. Like I can seriously talk about these bags all day long. Every day, all day, you know how I am. This bag does come with a removable adjustable strap. However, I'm really not a big fan of that strap. I don't know what it is. I really tend to hand carry this bag more than anything. Uh, but for a mini tote, this is kind of along the same lines as the, um, the mini puzzle bag, it, it, it's very deceiving because it is it's very large for its size. It's very large for a mini tote. I mean, you can fit everything in here. Uh, I mean, I could fit my agenda in here. I couldn't fit, obviously, uh, my laptop, but I can fit my agenda in here and everything that I need for the day. Uh, I've used this for work. Sometimes when I just want a pop of color or if I am running errands or wherever I'm going, it's such a casual laid back bag uh, that pairs very nicely with my wardrobe that that's why I feel like it's always in constant rotation. I constantly end up gravitating towards it, plus the color. I mean, I can't deny the color. So these mini tote bags, 
I'm obsessed with them. I am absolutely obsessed with them. Uh, and they're just very comfortable. And I have had no issues with wear and tear, or no issues with peeling leather or anything like that. So these guys have been wearing like a champ. And once again, if you want a tote that is very spacious, that doesn't break the bank and is available in a variety of different colors, I cannot, I cannot uh, recommend this bag enough. And that brings us to my final bag, number 10, the beautiful Louis Vuitton bum bag in the monogram canvas. Uh, I do believe that this is also the second Second year in a row that this makes my most used bags for that year and the craziest thing of all you guys have heard me say this many of times the craziest thing of all is that I was so against this bag when it first came out I was certain I was sure that this is not a bag for me like why would you want this bag blah 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 you name it and my opinion, of course, has completely changed. I have been eating my words one letter at a time because this bag is absolutely incredible. And I know that it was very, very, very popular, what, like three or four years ago. I think that the popularity has started to die down. Um, and for me personally, I don't really go for bags because they're trendy. I go for bags because they, I like them because they work out for me. I don't care if the trend has completely died down. I don't care if people are over it for me personally, it absolutely works. Uh, I just think that it is incredible. It is so ridiculously comfortable. I still don't use it as a fanny pack. I love using this as a shoulder bag. Very comfortable. I like the fact that you have different adjustments. So if you want it a little bit shorter up on your torso, you have that option. But to be completely honest with you, I like using it sometimes like this. Uh, I end up changing the length of the strap and I make it, uh, on, I put it on the longest setting and I like using it crossbody very, very comfortable. If I want to be hands-free, I'm able to grab everything that I need. If it's everything that I need for the day as well, no problem. And it is just, it is amazing. It is such a bummer that they have decided to discontinue this bag. I think that you can still get the, um, what's it called, the World Tour, right? If I'm not mistaken. And I think that you can still get it in the Empreinte leather. Again, I could be wrong, uh, but in the monogram, it's like, why, why would you get rid of it? Look at this. I also have a smorg organizer in here. Now, I don't think that it needs it, um, but I like the green. <laughs> I like the green with the monogram and it is just so spacious. My stuff doesn't fly out either. Sometimes I find myself carrying it like this too. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Like I cannot stress it enough and I'm so happy that I wasn't just you know, I didn't completely close my mind to this bag. I gave it a chance and it was one of the best decisions that I could have ever made because it is such a joy to use, but love, love, love this bag. Uber comfortable. I also think that this might make it into the forever category as well. I think it's one of those, I think it's time for me to start doing a forever handbag video because I feel like I always say this bag is going to be in my forever bag, blah, blah, blah. All right, you guys. So that does it for my top 10 most used handbags of 2022. Did any of these surprise you? You know which handbag you guys didn't see in this video? I think that for the first time since I have owned them, they have not made it into my most used bags for the year, and that is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. You guys know that I have three of them in my collection, and uh, I did use them a lot this year, but when it came to totes, I really found myself gravitating a lot more towards the Gucci Ophidia. Now, that doesn't mean that, oh, you know, I'm starting to just fall out of love with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Absolutely not. I've said it before and I will say it again, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull will forever be in my handbag collection. They are my forever handbags. They are my end all be all totes. Uh, but again, this year, I just really ended up using the Gucci Ophidia a lot more. Uh, and I had a few others that were really close, that were really on that cusp of being the top 10, but these guys definitely took the cake. So again, I don't think that any of these are gonna surprise you. Well, maybe the fact that uh, the Neverfull wasn't in this lineup. But uh, I would love to know what were your most used handbags for 22, uh, 2022? Let us know in the comment section down below. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.